Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Sorry, I'm just putting the blinds up because the light is so weird from this angle and I'm hoping it'll help. This morning I'm getting ready. We're headed out for a day downtown and I just wanted to start off by doing my quick little everyday makeup with you. I literally brought the chair <laughs> into the bathroom so I can just sit here because normally I just do my makeup in the mirror right here, so I figured I'd just do it with you. I did my full skincare already. I actually put on the oil. I don't normally put the squalane oil on in the morning. I've just been doing that at night, so I kind of want to test it out and see how it wears under my makeup. And I also put on the Tatcha sunscreen because it's so juicy and silky. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like a primer, honestly, because it's so, so juicy. I really, really loved the base that I used in my recent um, drugstore video, so I kind of just want to keep plucking away at this and giving it a go and testing it out. So, oh my God, so much <laughs> ah, This is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. It's honestly got a really good amount of coverage. And it's super juicy and serumy too. So I figured it would be a good little mix to do with this skin combo. So I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers. If I were doing like a five minute makeup, like this would be the perfect product to rub in because it just soaks in so easily. Do a little bit on my neck too, because my neck is so much more white than everything else in my life. This is my only issue when it comes to white shirts is when I'm trying to blend things on my neck. It always ends up getting on my shirt and no white top is safe when you are a pale gal wearing bronzer, okay? I'm just taking my beauty blender and patting that around. I feel like it just helps to set it in. My hair's just up from my workout right now, but I'm gonna finesse this little slick back bun. So I definitely wanna like pay attention to the makeup like behind my ears and my neck and just make sure that it's all blending out. Okay, then I'm going in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which has some little fluffy hairs all over it. Let's not get that on my face. I'm just gonna take that under the eyes. I was so thrilled with how many of you commented that you love this concealer too. I was really pleasantly surprised. This is only obviously the second time I've used it, but like it literally just blends into the skin so easily. It's so, Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just blending it out with my finger and then I'll go around with the beauty blender just because it's faster. I've already, would it be better if I put this here? Sorry, yeah, maybe we'll just do that and I can show you the concealer, like just how easily and beautifully it blends in. Oh my God. Do a little bit of contour. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I really, really need to wash my brushes here. Ooh. And I'm just gonna rub that in. And just take a little bit of that down the nose as well. And then I just go over with the beauty blender in case <laughs> I applied too much, which is usually the case. So I actually wanted to do my brows really quick first, not my normal order of operations, but a lot of you were commenting, telling me to use the NYX brow tint before the e.l.f. brow gel. Oh my God, what's it called? Brow lift. So I'm just gonna try this and see how it goes. Yeah, it's filling in much easier, but my only fear is that when I apply the gel after, I find in the past, in past experience, it just kind of wipes off everything that you do when you're trying to do that laminated look. But I could also just do like the halfway lamination, not like a full laminate. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna put on the e.l.f. brow lift, which is just, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. I have been loving it, wearing it every single day. It does such an amazing job on the brows. It's an absolute dupe for anything and everything when it comes to the brows. <laughs> I've been so impressed. And I just don't even push it all the way against my skin. I literally just lightly apply it and it has such a good holding power. Such a good, it has great holding power. And definitely the applying the NYX brow pen beforehand was way better. I just wanna fix this up right here. Ooh, love! Okay, I also picked up a new blush. A few years ago, I did a video talking about like top makeup artist tips and whatnot, and I had picked up the Surratt Beauty like blush trio that I've had since and loved and used, and it was a Katie Jane Hughes. Oh, I think I think it was the blush she used on Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Anyway, the pink that's in this blush trio that I have and I've used forever since that uh, is the Barbe a Papa powder blush from Surratt, and I saw on Beautylish that they had a cream blush version, so Surratt Beauty is definitely up there on the more expensive brands. But I was so curious to try this out. It looks like this beautiful, fresh pink. Um, I 
and it's a blush that I already love in cream format. I'm struggling with this applicator a little bit. <laughs> ah, I feel like it's coming out very much in gobs, but I'm gonna just <laughs> pat that on and then I'll blend it out with uh, my same like contour brush just because I love to use this one for creams. It's really light, honestly. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. It's much more of a glowy effect, which when you're doing your everyday makeup and if you ever want to erase steps, it's actually nice to kind of have something that can be like your blush and highlight in one. It's like a barely there, very natural, natural pink shade. That's really pretty. Cool, yeah, I just wanted to try that out. I picked it up and I was like, wow, I love this color. Okay, I'm gonna continue on with the little Givenchy powder with my little triangle poofs here. But like this Givenchy powder is crazy. It's so good. Even through the vlog camera, you can see the difference. It's literally like, it's the softest. It just feels so, so, so finely milled, like a such a true silky powder. And these little powder puffs are great. <laughs> so many lovely discoveries we've been discovering throughout the Everyday May videos, my friends. My, oh my God, my favorites this month is gonna be <laughs> insane because I've truly discovered so many products that I love. Ugh. I'm gonna do a little bit more just around my mouth just because we are headed out of the house today. So I do want my makeup to last. A little bit more. Love, 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 love this powder. It's so good. I mean, the price is like, it's expensive, but it's very nice. Okay, another product that I've kind of just been like playing with on the side and testing is the new Hindash palette. I had bought his original one, which I've also been playing with and testing. You're most likely gonna see both of these in my favorites as well, because I've really come to love it. And I like this one because it has the fun pinks in it. You've got the pops of color, but these are the cool tone browns that I love or have been loving to use every day right now. So I guess this is, this top one is Alter Ego and I'm using the Ego side. And it's just a really nice, soft, cool tone brown. Pretty much the same idea as like my little Inglot Trio, like this Alter Ego shade in this palette gives that same effect. And I just literally take a big fluffy brush and blend that all over. And I like to do this, like on days when I've been wearing more cool tone makeup, like this more cool tone pink blush, and I'll do a cool tone lip, I like to do a more cool tone brown. So on those days, I found that I don't love putting my bronzer onto my eyelid as much because it can just be a little bit warm in contrast, and sometimes it just looks a little bit like muddy and weird. I don't know. Anyway, on these days, I've been doing the little cool tone shadow, so I'm just really quickly rubbing that on. And I'll take a little bit of that on the lower lash line too. I don't like want to wear mascara today because I just really don't need to, but I kind of also just want to keep playing with this new Maybelline one. And I just want to see how it lasts throughout the day. So we will continue to play with it. So I'm going to go in with my next natural lip pencil. Use that to fill in my lips. Then I continued the little shopping my stash uh, for lip products. And I found this Kira Weiss lip tint in Blissful. Haven't used this in such a long time, but the packaging of this is phenomenal. It's so perfect to just throw in your bag and it's this beautiful, juicy, juicy pink that I think will just go with this blush so perfectly. And I would totally leave it like that. That's so fine. But I also like, I just want to put a little gloss on top because I also pulled out this Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Choo Choo. I totally forgot about these and I need to use them more. Oh my God, it smells delicious. And it's like pretty much the same color but just a little bit more of a juicy gloss. Yeah, it's like literally the same, literally the same. You could wear one or the other and it would give you the same look, but I feel like this one's just a little bit more glossy. So if you wanted some extra shine, sorry, there's a hair. I'm constantly attacked by these random little fluffies everywhere in my house. It drives me crazy. I'm probably just gonna pack all of those with me. Oh No, you know what, for touch-ups, I'll literally just bring this. Actually, that's just the easiest. It's also the heaviest one, which is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take my Benefit setting spray and while that soaks in I'll go in with that Maybelline mascara and I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto the top lashes and that's it that's the look allow me to don my jewelry this is my David Yerman cuff this is my Majuri cuff I've been putting it on my right hand lately and I also have the little Majuri boyfriend chain I've been meaning to re-zap my little Leah Alexandra bracelets on for so long I literally still have them sitting in a drawer but I just I keep forgetting to book the appointment like that's something I totally could have done today no I can't today's too busy already this is what I mean I always forget to book it anywho I'm gonna uh, put my rings on my stunning angel new and this is my little Majuri pinky ring. 
And you know what? I haven't worn <laughs> this in so long. This is my David Yerman duo. I bought these years ago. <gasps> and the thing is like, my left hand is a little bit smaller than my right, so I always used to wear this on my left hand, but obviously like since I've been engaged and whatnot, I don't know, I feel like that's like too much for my left hand. Like that's a lot, that's a lot on one hand, right? I don't know, anyway, but my right hand, my right pointy finger is so much bigger than my left, so like do I wear it and just make it squeeze? <laughs> I feel like my finger's gonna go numb, but anyway, there's the rings. My little Leah Alexandra chain necklace. I was wearing the Majuri boyfriend necklace for so long, but um, with my longer nails, I just can't do it up. The Leah Alexandra has a little hook, which is nice, but I need Dan to put my other necklace on for me. So when I'm getting ready in these moments, I just put on the one that I can do. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I can't. My finger's turning purple. <gasps> See, I can't, I can't wear it on this finger. It's so bizarre. Ah! So just kidding, I'll put my other band on. Oh my God, I don't know, it's, it's so sad. You know what, I might just have to get them resized actually. I wonder if that would work. Anyway, RIP. Um, I'm gonna do my replica by the fireplace. I've been trying to play around with some other uh, fragrances that I have in my collection, but I just, this Melon and Guest leather. I don't know, man, the forever faves. Okay, that is me ready. Allow me to show you the makeup look in some more normal light. It's just like really nice and light and fresh and pink. I gotta fix my bun. I'll see you downstairs. So we're headed downtown. We have a very exciting trip coming up that we need to get some things for. So we have a nice little busy day downtown. Fingers crossed that we can find some things. And it's a beautiful sunny day. The sun is shining. I'm so excited. We haven't been downtown in what feels like a hot minute. I just filmed my little outfit clip for today's OOTD for a little OOTD outfits of the week video. And we're gonna be off. Got my bag, I got my bag, got the coffee, let's go. <laughs> Don't mind all the garbage in the back. We were totally planning on dropping all of our recycling. Like that's styrofoam. This is the styrofoam that our cable machine came in. We fully meant to go to the recycling depot to drop this off on our way, but we were running a little bit late. I've dropped Dan off, he is at lunch, and I've just come to park at Pacific Center, and I'm gonna head into the mall. There's a few things. I actually wrote a list of all the things that I need to get um, while I'm in here. But with our trip coming up, we received the itinerary, and there's a few uh, specific dress code things that we need to get, which we're super excited about, but both Dan and I need to try. Fingers crossed that we can find a full pink outfit and then a few other things i need to get a couple of things from sephora but right now oh my god oh my god i have to pee so badly i'm gonna head into the mall let's see what we can find okay i found one option it's a sparkly pink and orange dress so it's not completely pink but i could wear picante blush and strappy orange heels with it <gasps> that'd be very cute that's a good option i'm gonna keep this in mind i just took a picture and sent it to dan <laughs> okay so here's the options i've Picked. I'm gonna try them on. This was the worst day to wear Converse because I'm gonna have to unlace them every day. <laughs> but let's try these on. <laughs> Immediately, no. Immediately, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't hate this one. You gotta picture big, long, beachy, crimped hair, the fake tan, strappy heels, but like, I think we can do better. Also, I didn't even bother squeezing this one on. I couldn't fit my. <laughs> head through this so I didn't even bother trying it on but this one's like could be like Sunday school choir show or very cute but we'll pass we'll pass okay this top does not help me at all for the trip but I love the fit in general look at the back can you see the back <gasps> how spicy is that for summer it's so squishy and comfy too I love it I love the shape so I think I'm just gonna buy this for fun not for anything that I need at all <laughs> I'm at Holt Renfrew and I'm not seeing too much pink, but I do spy with my little eye, a little Uncle Studios section. You guys recognize this? I bought this fit last summer from Uncle Studios and I love it, it's so cute. Do they have the tunic here? No, just the t-shirts, but how cute! This is so exciting! Allegra and Uncle Studios, congrats. That's huge, that's so awesome. Right here in Holt Renfrew in Vancouver. Congrats, girl. Oh my God, I'm screaming for you. This is so, this is so cool. 
Okay, so I was walking by Holt Renfrew on my, on my way, and through the window, I saw this bag, and I screamed. I did, I screamed a little bit. And I just came in and tried it on. She's perfect. Oh, oh my God. They also have it in this stunning, creamy white. <sighs> Honestly, like both are perfect, truly, but I don't have a brown bag. Anyway, it's called the Rumi, or the, did you say the Rumi or the Romy? Sorry. Rumi. Rumi. It's the Rumi. Oh my God, she's beautiful. She's so beautiful. Um, so here I am. This was unexpected. <laughs> Having a cheeky, cheeky champagne for lunch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we must be shopping. <laughs> Many hours later, our shopping adventure is done. Dan got a suit. We have some weddings coming up that we're attending. I got a sneaky little, ah, that I'll talk about when we're home. And now we are gonna run because we're late and we're meeting his parents for dinner. I'm gonna go get a steak. <laughs> Good morning from me and my cold brew to you, my friends, my friends. <gasps> The Kirkland cold brew is back. And even though I am still cold, I am of the chili this morning. <laughs> I have made my protein coffee. It's been made for a while already, but oh my God, I forgot how good this was. I personally find that the Nespresso pods are very, very bitter. Even like the lightest ones, like level fours and fives, I find it so bitter. And I forgot how delicious the Kirkland cold brew was. Honestly, it's so, it's so good. I blend this with my chocolate smooth, my protein, protein powder, and almond milk and ice. And it's so, it's so divine. It's like literally drinking a chocolate shake in the morning. It's so delicious. Anyway, we got home last night from the downtown adventure. We were there all day. I had a lovely dinner with Dan's fam and we were so tired when we got back. Oh my God, we had to like finish uploading the vlog and we put it up last night. I literally uploaded it at 11.57 p.m. Like we just made it for the day. We were cutting it real close. Feeling a little extra sleepy this morning. Needed a lovely coffee pick me up, but I got home last night and I had an additional H&M order up here. I had just thrown in this lovely little tie-dye t-shirt dress from H&M. It's so cozy. I ordered it to wear like as pajamas, but also it would kind of be an amazing beach dress. Like, do I need to get another one? I love it. This, for those of you who know about my love for my Pink Floyd pink t-shirt <laughs> that I have literally worn to death and I still wear to this day, this is the new Pink Floyd t-shirt. Okay, this is like excellent. And I don't need to wear bottoms because it's a t-shirt dress. It's actually super long. So you heard it here first. This is the new Pink Floyd pink tee, okay? I love it so much, oh my God. <laughs> It just makes me happy and it's so cozy. Anyway, so I'll show you what I picked up later on once I get a little bit, you know, less slimy. Although I think I'll just keep the the bun for today. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm gonna get myself ready and we'll do a little unboxing slash mini little haul here. <laughs> wow, sorry, like the cold brew is hitting me. I am literally like buzzing. Look at that. Okay, not to be dramatic, but this is the best that my makeup has ever looked. Oh my God, I just finished doing my makeup. <laughs> and it's insane, it's insane. You guys, guess what it is? The freaking Givenchy powder. Oh my God, I set my whole face and it's just like so smooth. I can't believe it. Anyway, Dan also just like gasped at my base and he's like, whoa, what's on your base today? I'm like, right, this is crazy. Anyway, I still haven't done my hair or anything. I'm still not dressed, I'm still in my little <laughs> Thing, but I also put my Nude Sticks Picante blush on my cheeks and lips today in celebration because when this video is going live on May 13th, you guys, it's the year anniversary of Picante. My beautiful baby born with Nude Sticks, the beautiful orange blush that truly looks amazing on everybody. And it's been such a fun year getting this into the hands of the world and just seeing how much everybody loves it and how much it reminds them of summer and beautiful sun-kissed skin and I mean, obviously I'm biased, but it's like the perfect warm summer shade and it's her year anniversary. So I'm gonna have to celebrate. We're gonna have to celebrate with Picante. And I just wanted to say everybody, thank you so much 
for the love that you've shown Picante and the Beachy Nudes kit over the last year. I can't believe it's already been a year. It's so crazy and even though it is the most miserable rainy day today. I can't wait to crack her out in the sunshine. So to celebrate, I'm wearing Picante today, so that was very exciting. Just had to share, and we're donning her today. So let me show you what I bought. The white shorts from Zara. We're gonna test a new mic scenario right now. I'm holding the mic so that I may speak to you. <laughs> Please don't mind the mess, but here are the shorts. These are the white linen shorts from Zara. I really love the length, honestly, and it's not, like if you're wearing white linen, it's going to be see-through. Like don't wear black underwear, you know? It's gonna be see-through in some capacity unless there's like multiple linings, but this is a thicker material, so it's not as see-through as many other white pantaloonies in linen <laughs> material have been that I've seen. So uh, yeah, here's the shorts also. My lovely little H&M dress in her full glory. Like how cute is this? I literally don't wanna take it off my body. It is so fun and so cute and colorful and bright for spring. So there's my new little dress and those are the white linen shorts okay and then i did show this while i was in the change room at the mall this is the remain burger christensen top that i got from nordstrom how cute is it i love the backlessness of it and it's like this super cozy stretchy material obviously still loving the green loving this color so much so i picked up that top then the major reveal my friends the new baby from celine oh my god first of all they're bags their shopping bags are so delightful. So here's the dust bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, brief, brief little backstory. So I have been wanting a brown bag to use on the daily. My most used bags in my collection for sure are all of my black bags. I have a Saint Laurent clutch that I wear to most outings. That with my Bottega Veneta cream pouch, which it's just, I've worn them a thousand million times. I have my Louis Vuitton Emprunt Speedy bag that I wear so much, and then my Celine big black tote bag. And those are like my most worn bags ever. Obviously I've been playing a little bit more with color and adding some more fun pops of color in my accessories, but I really did want to expand my like everyday bag category, especially because I have been playing a little bit more with my shoes and things. And I've been looking, I've been eyeing, oh my God, so much the brown, Leve puzzle bag and I've had it in my wish list on my like matches fashion cart for so long they have a brown one and a cream one and I've been like I've been staring at it for a long time and I went and saw it in person and it's got like a little flap that kind of hangs off the side and I didn't know how I felt about that you don't notice it so much in the black but like for the brown color I don't know I didn't love it I'm not gonna buy something that I'm not like deeply in love with so when we were shopping yesterday obviously i've already said this but i walked by like when you're walking to the entrance first of all because they have like one entrance close i know this is like really geographically specific but when you're going to hold run through when you're entering one side they have the doors like, like they've closed the entrance for whatever reason it's like enter on the other side and i was like ah it's just usually the door i enter and so i was walking around the block to go to their other entrance and you pass the celine window and i looked up and i was like <sighs> Oh my God, this bag was perfect. My jaw literally dropped. It's essentially the same style as the Loewe bag, the slouchier little puzzle bag, but like more chic, like more refined. I don't know. I just saw it and my jaw dropped. I went in and I was like, oh my Lord, allow me to try this on squealing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go think about it. I'm going to come back, I'm going to do our shop and then obviously returned to pick her up. And wow, this looks very odd without the slouchness. Um, but here's how the bag comes in the dust bag. I gotta take, okay, let's take these off. Here's the little strap. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Okay, let's get a lovely little look. First of all, the gold hardware, hello. Oh! Gold hardware is it for me. If it has gold hardware, I am already swooning. It's just got so much space for all activities. Like I could fully throw my water bottle in here. Like if I wanted to hold it like this, like I could shove everything in there. But if you want it to be a little bit slouchy, you could just put the minimal things in there. Like your keys, your wallet, your phone and be done. I think this is like a really nice in between for me. It's like big enough that I can still carry all of my daily necessities, but it is still that very cute, easy, <gasps> slouchy shoulder bag. Like how you guys just imagine like walking down the street, just like, Like this just added such a sleek, stunning, warm addition to my everyday bag lineup. This is just gonna be so nice to stroll around in and it's slouchy, it's got the slight pebbled leather, so it's gonna be a lot more long lasting than if it was a smooth leather. It'll be much more durable and just like look at the detail 
on the sides. It's just so gorgeous. The strap goes all the way on the bottom, which will be nice because I think that'll prevent like too much wear from showing on the bottom. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love how tiny and small and barely there the Celine branding is. You know, it's just it's just such a chic bag. And I'm not gonna lie, like when I saw the brown one, I was like, oh, I'm buying the brown. But when I saw the creamy white one that they had too, I was like, oh, frig, that is such a toss up. The white one was really, really beautiful. I cannot justify having both of them, especially when I love my Bottega Veneta pouch bag so much. But this just, it's just so, it's so perfect. It's so easy, just such a gorgeous everyday little Sochi bag. And I'm obsessed and I bought it and she's expensive, but she's a bag that I just know, I know I'm gonna love and cherish forever. How stunning. Welcome to the family, you sweet, sweet girl. Prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> ah. So my friends, that's the bag. This is the bag reveal, the new Celine Angel in the house, my friends. I will link to her below. And yeah, I'm thrilled. So now that she's had her warm welcome to the family, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I feel like this vlog is gonna be so long. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me yesterday and coming for an adventure downtown with us. So I'm gonna love you and leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all tomorrow for a brand new Everyday May video. Bye!